I definitely have lived in a pretty miserable state without being on medications. My name is Nikki and I've been living with rheumatoid arthritis for 13 years. I couldn't physically move, I couldn't come down the stairs. My mornings I would have to plan ahead, I would have to set my alarm clock even 40 minutes before I knew I had to get up because I had to prepare in advance. So my rheumatologist had recommended taking a biologic as her patients had quite a bit of success with it. I was pretty reluctant at first. I didn't know how my body would handle it. I definitely tried to do alternative routes versus taking medication, um, such as eating healthier and maintaining a healthier lifestyle. But my body recognized that it did need the extra support, and that's when I did begin taking biologics. Biologic are a new class of medications that have uh, been on the market now for about 20 years for diseases like rheumatoid arthritis. And what is particular about them is they target specific parts of the immune system that are involved in causing the inflammation in rheumatoid arthritis. So they are very effective in their ability to just stop the disease. A biosimilar medication is a biologic that comes out on the market once the patent for the original medication runs out. Uh, and at that time, other companies can uh, produce medications that are similar to the original medication for the patent. And we call them biosimilar because they are a very close copy to the original uh, medication that came out on the market. There's two different kinds of policies with the biosimilar. So there's that when we start a new medication, if there's a less expensive version, we have to use that one. But more recently, there are biosimilar transition policies that have been implemented in a number of provinces, whereby you, when patients are on a medication and a biosimilar becomes available, they need to transition to the less expensive alternative in order for the medication to continue to be covered. Here at Arthritis Research Canada, we've used the data in British Columbia to compare when people are using these uh, new biosimilar medications compared to the prior originator molecule. And what we found is that if people are using a biosimilar to compare to an originator, they stay on the treatment for the same amount of time. And similarly, when people have had to transition from an originator to a biosimilar, they remain on treatment just as long as if people had used an originator all along. So our research findings, I think, are really reassuring for patients that these medications seem to be the same as the original biologic agents. Main worries for switching from biologic to biosimilar would be it's just the uncertainty of how your body will react to it. My fear would be also the efficacy and just the, again, the quality of life that I have on a biologic. I wouldn't be certain if a biosimilar could provide me the same. In order to be approved by Health Canada, the manufacturers have to prove that the medication is very similar to the original medication and that it works the same way in the cells. So the pharmacokinetics of the medication have to be the same, the molecule has to function the same way, and also studies have to show that it has the same effectiveness and the same safety as the original molecule. The cost of producing these medications is exactly the same. The reason that they are a lower cost on the market is because the companies have not had to invest in all of the research for the what we call the RxND, so the research that goes into the development of a new drug, the investment into uh, the product has been less costly. It can be a concern for patients whenever we're asking any kind of change, especially they finally get to a medication that works for them, their disease is well controlled, and now we're asking them to change. Change is always difficult. We have more and more of these biological medications that are coming on the market, and this is really, really exciting. Many different classes of biologic agents that target different pathways within the immune system. 
you know, as new and more and more of these medications become available, if we want to be able to fund the new drugs, we have to be able to pay less for the old drugs when less expensive alternatives are available. I've seen people in my life, they've been impacted by their inflammatory diseases and how biologics have worked because you can't live your life normally per se when you don't know how your disease is going to progress. And going back to 10 years ago, I didn't know that my disease would have progressed and I just have to adjust my life accordingly, which is unfortunate, but I do appreciate that research is being done to help me live a better quality life.